the game of baseball, in sandlots, at school, and at the local ballpark, was one of his few escapes. Baseball was one of the places where he felt like he was at home, and he was around people that loved him. And I think it was something that Harry needed very much, like people need food and water. He needed baseball. And as Harry grew up, he realized the game could be a path to a job. He decided he'd be a broadcaster. And after a few small-time gigs around the Midwest, Harry went back home and made a bold and fearless move. He wrote a letter to the owner of the Cardinals and said, I can do the games better than the guy that's doing them now. And he arranged an interview, and he sat down with the owner and said, well, what do you mean, Harry? I can very calmly read my newspaper and enjoy reading the newspaper while the game's on. And Harry said, that's exactly why you need to hire me. You need to have somebody make it exciting and get people to want to come to the ballpark. And he basically talked his way into becoming the broadcaster of the Cardinals in 1945. There she goes, way back. It might be, it could be, it is a home run. Holy cow, the Cardinals win. Harry Carey was 31 years old. The difficulties of his childhood were firmly in the past. Now, he was set on making a name for himself behind the microphone for his hometown team. They were the absolute definition of a regional franchise. And the flagship radio station, KMOX, could be heard in more than 40 states. The power of KMOX and the power of the Cardinals radio network uh, really put him in, in a unique position of, of being not just the voice of the Major League Baseball team, but the soundtrack to so many summers of people living and dying with wins and losses, and, and Harry was the steward for that. The wide reach of KMOX endeared Harry to fans across the Midwest and beyond, including one big fan who lived in Tennessee. The King was a fan of Harry Carey's. Harry did the basketball games of the St. Louis University Billikens. So they're playing Memphis State, and somehow Elvis is listening to the game. And it's like, wow, Harry Carey, voice of the Cardinals, is in town. So the phone rings at the hotel. Harry Carey, yes. Elvis Presley, I'm a fan of yours. Would you like to come out to Graceland? The next thing you know, Harry's in the car and he's having Budweiser's and talking baseball at Graceland with the King. <laughs>